If you know how to read this report, feel free. Here's the thing. There was only, what, 20 miles on the oil? 20 miles because it was just roughly what we did in Pismo. I believe we're going to do an oil change because after we did the 0 to 60s, I changed my oil and it was kind of gray in color, which kind of made me worry a little bit. Yeah. We're just kind of hoping nothing's going on. So I heard about these guys. I ordered this kit. Uh, they're called the uh, Blackstone Oil Analysis. We're going to take oil samples, send it off to them, see what's going on. Oil has recently cleared up. Yeah. Um, but I just want to play on the safe side. You know if I should be uh, worried about being in the middle of the desert, rolling with you, with you guys, and uh, worry about my engine, or not worry about it no more. Uh, what's it called again? Blackstone Oil Analysis. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, so here's kind of where we're at. The, the videos are spread out. So a bunch of this has been recorded ahead of time and we and, and it's kind of we're kind of dragging on getting the video out because in between us working on this car we had other things going on. Oh, yeah. But b basically we're kind of coming back to this and it's probably been a little once this video when this video is posted it's probably been a little bit since we actually went through this process. So if you see us posting on uh, Instagram or Facebook or something about this you'll understand that you know, maybe the video is not up yet, even though we've already done this. Hmm. We just don't. Right now, we can't stay up, so we can't post as we record. But we hope to get caught up. Perfect. So I take it we uh, get your oil in this, fill out the label, on. send it in, and they tell us what's in it. Did you not read the instructions? Do you? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so here's why. Uh, did we really cover... The reason we're analyzing the oil... Is because you found something in the oil, right? Correct. I did a oil change after we had maybe an I'll hour or two. A, I'll pop a picture right here. And um, it was gray in color. I didn't kind of. Kind of gray, silver, what? Yeah, I kind of. Which would you would think would indicate metal or whatever. Right, but there was nothing on the little magnetic drain. But yeah. I'm just trying to play safe, safe and sorry because it, aluminum. It could be uh, aluminum, right? Yeah, it could be aluminum. It, or you know whatever. Some non-ferrous metal. Yeah. And uh, so you kind of looked it over the best you could. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change the oil and we're going to capture some of that oil, send it off for analysis, right. and see if maybe it's got some kind of um, part right. of the motor in it, basically, right? Yeah. So we're hoping it's good. It runs good. Now, uh, really good. <laughs> so I'm going to put up the other video of the intake you got before this. Right. So that's up. Just to let everyone know, he got a new intake, and check out all this green, it's pretty cool. Uh, but that intake right there, the Ibex Velocity, had some uh, what, residue inside of it. They're going to because it's a uh, 3D printed uh, nylon, uh, compressed nylon. Yeah. And they try to get it out as much as they can, but they do recommend you go through and clean it out. Okay. So, you know, that's another possibility. Maybe some of that, you know. Because whatever you put through the intake, when you are running high boost, like this car is, uh, it's running 22 pounds of boost. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're running 22 pounds of boost, you're going to push some of whatever goes into the cylinder past the rings into the case. So, you know, if you've got some, you know, for example, look at this guy. With all the um, anises all over his body. Picture right here. Uh, Look what happens with him. I imagine maybe you got some kind of substance that's inside this intake and it goes into the oil and just dominates of the color. I'd just rather be safe than sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the thing. So that's a theory. Uh, another theory is that the motor is actually hurt. I don't want that theory, but... Yeah. So that's where we're at. So what we're going to do is do an oil change and we're not going to take you through that because you, uh, everyone's already seen yeah. that. Okay, so we have to decide if we're going to hold this video until you get the results, or are we going to go ahead and post this video and come back with the results. We'll make that decision. We'll let you know here in a minute. But anyway, let's do this thing. And uh, Oh, are we going to run that little test, too, on the, the gears with the oil and the fuel? Yeah, and that's a whole other subject. Right? Oh, oh, All right, we'll be back. <laughs> so we drain the oil, and here's what we have. So kind of weird. We, we jumped ahead. We didn't show you, but we're going to show you what we found. In this bowl, if you look closely... I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know if it's maybe the color of the ball affecting it, but I don't know if you guys can see this on camera. But it, it feels like there's like a kind of a cloud in there, right? It yeah. floats around. Like, like. Well, you just kind of 
but is it? So what we're going to do, we poured some through, or I poured some through this uh, paper towel. There's not really anything on the paper towel, I don't feel like. There's not like, there's no kind of weird residue or, and that's that it. No, that's just, you know, where it's the uh, towel saturated. So I don't know. So we're going to pour this, what's in this bowl in this shot glass, just to see if, if it looks different in there, in a, in a piece, you know, like in glass. It seems like there's a cloud in there, right? Yeah. It's so weird. Well, that's just from a day at Pismo. I changed it right before we went. Yeah, strange. It's not gray or silver like it was before. Not as bad. So it looks like it's kind of cleaning out, right? Yeah, hopefully. I don't know how well we can see that on camera, but I don't know, it's weird. So anyway, we're going to send it off, like we said. Hope for the best. Yep. Not the worst. Exactly. So. Yeah. That's that. Uh, <laughs> I don't really, there's not much more for us to say about that. Here's the air, fi or air filter, the oil, oil filter. How does it look? Gray. Uh, is it gray or black? Uh, it does kind of look gray. Oh, look at the oil on top. Yeah. Okay, so is there something in the oil? We don't know what it is. We don't know. It looks like it's maybe cleaning out because there's less of it than last time. Yeah, it was a lot darker than last time. Or a lot lighter yeah, than yeah. Last, last time. Learn how so to it could have, talk today. It could be something we somehow invert, inadvertently got in the motor when we were working on it last. It could be uh, um, maybe that stuff that was in the intake. Who knows? Yeah. Hopefully these guys can tell us. These guys right here. This is the report. If you know how to read this report, feel free. Here's the thing. There was only, what, 20 miles on the oil? 20 miles, because it was just roughly what we did in Pismo. Okay, so, but still, you know, give them a chance that there's nothing, obviously, if it were really bad, there would still be uh, metal in it. Yeah. So no metal in the oil. It looks like his car is cured. And but the report up here, I read that. Here, you can read that if you'd like. Uh, seems to indicate that you don't feel like there's a problem with the motor. No, it showed clear, it shows with, within yeah. their uh, specs. Within the specs. So like Brandy says, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Especially comment below on this. Let us know what you think about the whole E85 thing. We're out. We're out.